This demonstration will explain how to use price units and price miscellaneous charges when setting up item pricing in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Please review the prior demonstration, Item Pricing Part 1, before viewing this demonstration. Pricing of items is relative to units of measure. Units of measure are set up for each area of use, such as purchasing, inventory, and sales. The inventory unit is defined on the Setup tab. The purchase unit and the sales unit is defined under the References tab. Item prices are stored on the Price Discount tab of the Item Master. Prices are listed for purchase orders, cost, and sales orders. The Base Cost Price column refers to transactions in the inventory and production modules. This demonstration will show the effects of purchase order pricing. The prices are listed per price unit. The price unit defaults to 1 since most prices are expressed as per one unit. If an item is always processed as a quantity other than one, or if the price is very small, then the price unit can be used to express the quantity of the price. In this example, for purchasing, we could have set our unit price to 0 0.05 per one price unit. To avoid rounding issues, we can express the price as $50 per 1,000 units. We have indicated that purchase orders and inventory will price this item based on 1,000 units. For the sales order column, we express the cost based on one unit. The unit of measure is identified on the reference tab as shown in the first slide. In this example, the purchasing and inventory unit of measure is each while the sales order is K. When we buy or stock the item, we want to express the unit of measure in individual units. However, when we sell this item, it is always sold in quantities of 1,000. A conversion factor has been set up. 1K equals 1,000 EAs, or eaches. Item quantities can be impacted by going to the Setup button and choosing Default Order Settings for each site. Site-specific order settings can also be chosen which allow quantity variables which are not the default settings. We will be showing the default order settings for Site 1. The default order setting form is also used to enter minimum, maximum, and default quantities. Choose between the Purchase Order, Inventory, and Sales Order tabs. The Multiple field will normally correspond to the price unit from the Price Discount tab. It indicates that this item should be handled in multiples of 1,000. If a quantity entered is not a multiple of 1,000, a warning will appear to the user when creating inventory transactions. The minimum and maximum fields will restrict the user from entering a quantity higher or lower than the quantities entered here. The standard order quantity will default onto order lines. If a purchase order is entered to buy a quantity of 1000 the price per each and the net amount are both $50. This is because our item is set up with the price of $50 per 1000 units. Let's see what happens when we change the quantity ordered. In this example, if the quantity ordered is 2000 the price per unit is still $50, but the net amount is $100. If the quantity is 100 the net amount is $5. The net amount is calculated as the quantity divided by the price unit multiplied by the price. To avoid confusion on the purchase order, you may want to include item text such as price is per 1,000 units. Price miscellaneous charges are a fixed amount added to the item price. They become part of the item price and are not itemized on the order. They can be used to include charges such as freight into the price of the item. The price miscellaneous charges are set up on the Price Discount tab of the Item Master.
they are different from the miscellaneous charge codes that are added to an order. The price quantity field is used to allocate the price miscellaneous charge. This field is only used if the include in unit price field is checked. In this case, we want to allocate a freight charge of $1.75 for every 100 units purchased. When a purchase order line is entered for this item, the item price includes the miscellaneous charge amount. The price of the item appears as .07 for a quantity of 1. If the Include in Unit Price field on the Item Master is not checked, Microsoft Dynamics AX ignores the price quantity and adds the price miscellaneous charge to the net amount only. In this example, the price for a quantity of 1 shows us a net amount of $1.80 instead of the $0.07 cents shown on the previous slide. The net amount has added $1.75 regardless of the quantity ordered. If using a price quantity with price miscellaneous charges, be sure to check the Include in Unit Price box.